Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see behind me, we see a gorgeous picture of the Milky Way. I just love going outside at night and looking at the stars. And sometimes I'm in a dark enough space so I can actually see the, the kind of the stripy fuzz of stars across the sky that's, that's the Milky Way. And our story today is how the Milky Way came to be. But why do you think the Milky Way looks like that? <laughs> well, it's made out of a lot of stars, billions, hundreds of billions of stars, and they're all pretty, pretty far away. And if you have a piece of paper handy, let's do a little experiment together. And um, if you have a piece of paper, what I want you to do is take a marker and pardon my background, it's going to make it look really funny here. But take a marker and start to make some dots all over your paper, just like this. Lots of dots all the way on your paper. Now we can pretend that each one of those dots is a star. Okay, and you got lots of dots. All right, so then take, whoa. <laughs> Take, I won't be able to do it so you can see it here on, on the screen, but if you take this picture that you made of dots and tape it on the wall across the room, it'll start to come together and look more like a cloud, kind of like our Milky Way right here. It's just kind of an optical illusion. So <laughs> that's a little bit of why the Milky Way looks like a great big cloud instead of a whole lot of little tiny dots like you see the stars. Okay, so let's get to this story today. I'm really excited about this story. It's a Cherokee legend about how the Milky Way came to be. And so today um, we have some props and I want you to watch for these things in the story. I want you to watch for a giant, <laughs> a giant dog that came down from the sky and got into the basket of cornmeal that the Native Americans were trying to keep. <laughs> and then I want you to get together a pie pan and a great big spoon because I want you to make some noise with me because <laughs> the villagers are gonna try to scare away that giant dog. And also, in this story, as we tell it, I want you to watch out for some corn, really hard corn, and how they make it. I want you to watch out for the drums. Oops. <laughs> My background makes it look like I'm magic and I'm pulling things out of a hat. <laughs> Some drums and some noisemakers are also in the story. So if you have anything that makes noise at your house, there's part of the story, and I'll tell you about that, where you can bang on them <laughs> and make a whole lot of noise because we're going to scare that giant dog. All right. So let's get right to the story now. And so if Tom could put up the pictures from the story will begin to tell it. How the Milky Way came to be. And it's a Cherokee legend. Every story um, about the night sky um, has, has a, a story of how it came to be from different cultures. And this one's the Cherokees. And there's, there's others too. So let's see what a galaxy is. That's our Milky Way galaxy. What is a galaxy? And why do we call it the Milky Way? Next slide. What is the Milky Way galaxy? <laughs> a galaxy is a giant group of stars all grouped together and they're kind of held together by gravity. And our Milky Way gravity is actually, or our Milky Way galaxy is actually spinning and it's got a swirl of stars that are all grouped together in arms. And that little red spot on your screen is where our solar system is. 
the Milky Way galaxy is where our solar system is, and we're right there <laughs> on planet Earth in the middle of that galaxy. That's where our solar system is. Okay. So, a long time ago, when the world was young, there was not as many stars in the sky. I see a few stars there, but not as many stars in the sky. In those days, the people depended on corn for their food. Oh, look at the bright colors of that corn. Dried corn could be made into cornmeal by placing it, placing the corn inside a hollow stump and pounding it with a long wooden stick called a pestle. You can see that there on the screen. That must have been hard work, I think. <laughs> Ground cornmeal could be made into bread and mush and lots of things during the winter time when it was cold. And cornmeal was stored in large baskets. Great big basket of cornmeal. Here we go. And one morning, as the story goes, an older man and his wife went to their storage basket for some cornmeal, and they discovered something, something or someone had gotten into their cornmeal during the night. Oh my goodness. They were very upset, for no one in the Cherokee village stole from someone else. It just wasn't done. Then they noticed that the cornmeal was scattered all over the ground. And in the middle of all that spilt cornmeal were giant dog prints, footprints from a dog. The elderly couple knew that this was no ordinary dog. When the people of the village were told, it was decided that this must be a spirit dog from another world. Ooh, look at all those colors. A spirit dog from another world. The people didn't want a spirit dog coming into their village. They decided to frighten it so badly that it would never return. They gathered their drums and their turtle shells and their rattles. And later that night, they hid around the area where the cornmeal was kept. Here we go. And late that night, they heard a whirring sound like many bird wings, and they looked up to see the form of a giant dog swooping down from the sky. And it landed near the basket, and then suddenly the people sh jumped up and shouting and beating and shaking their shakers and noisemakers. The sound was so loud, it was like thunder. And if you have a pan or a pot at home, <laughs> and a spoon. You can make some noise right now, too. Make some noise. Scare that giant dog away. And he jumped up, and the whole noise sounded like thunder. I hope you make a noise out there. Let's see what happens. The giant dog turned and ran and began to run down the path. The people chased after him, making the loudest noises that they could. Yeah, make some more noises. Shake some shakers, bang some pans, bang some drums. They made the loudest noises they could. And the dog ran to the top of a hill and leaped into the sky, and he spilled cornmeal as he ran from its mouth. Whoo! <laughs> Cornmeal's kind of powdery. There he goes. The giant dog ran across the black night sky until it disappeared from sight. But the cornmeal that had spilled from his mouth made a path way across the sky. Each grain of cornmeal became a star. Ooh, that's pretty. The Cherokee's name for the Milky Way galaxy is the place where the dog ran. How about that? Look at the cornmeal spilling from his mouth, turning into stars. That's really cool. And that's the end of our story. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. So we have a game to play today that goes along with the story. And I'm going to change this screen so that you can see what I'm doing here in my den. I'm coming back from the night and visiting that Milky Way. So here we go back to my den. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's play a game. I've got a basket and I've got a giant dog. <laughs> and I know that there's lots of different ages of kids out there watching. So here's a game for a toddler. And if you're a little guy out there or a little girl out there and you're just learning how to walk and maybe throw things, get one of your stuffed animals and maybe you even have a stuffed animal dog. And here's what we're going to do. Remember when the story said the giant dog came down from the sky and stole the cornmeal? Well, this is what you can do. If you're out in your living room or outside where there's an open ceiling, take and throw this dog or your stuffed animal as high as you can and watch, see if you can catch it when it comes down from the sky. Are you ready? One, two, three, giant dog in the sky. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> and if you're helping your little brother or sister, you can actually throw your stuffed animal to your little brother or sister and see if they can catch him. Here we go. Let's do giant dog in the sky again. One. Two, three, giant dog in the sky. I got him. Giant dog in the sky. I got him again. So it's kind of fun. And you can play, if you're just learning to catch things, it's really fun to try to catch one of your stuffed animals. Especially fun to throw them up in the air. Now here's a guessing game for some of us who are just a little bit older. I got a basket right here. And I've got the giant dog from the sky. And I've got a giant chicken from the sky. <laughs> and I've got a giant mouse from the sky. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hide one of the animals under the basket and give you clues and see if you can you can guess which giant animal from the sky is hiding under the basket trying to get the cornmeal. So, all right, off screen, I'm gonna hide one of the animals. I'm hiding it. And now I'm gonna give you a clue and you're gonna to have to guess what is under my basket trying to steal the cornmeal. Okay, this, <laughs> this giant animal from the sky, this spirit animal says, squeak, 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 squeak. Did you guess it yet? Give me one more clue in case you didn't guess it. It's got a long tail and goes squeak, squeak, squeak. Let's see. Did you guess? Make your guess. Here we go. Ta -da -da. <laughs> it's the giant spirit mouse from the sky. Woo! All right. Okay, let's see. I'm going to hide another animal. But you can't see underneath. My basket. Let's see. Okay. This one scratches in the dirt for the cornmeal. What? Hmm. What animal would scratch in the dirt for the cornmeal? Um, one more clue. If you haven't guessed yet, this animal might peck in the dirt for the cornmeal. Peck in the dirt. Hmm, did you guess yet? One more clue. <laughs> this animal goes click, 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 click. Now I bet you guessed, because that one was easy. Let's see. It's the giant spirit chicken from the sky. There we go. I bet you, well, the next one, of course, would be kind of easy to guess. What animal do I have left? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, since you probably already know what I put under this basket because it was the only one left, what kind of clues, if you were doing this game with somebody else, what kind of clues would you give for this dog? 
<laughs> I told you what it was. <laughs> what would you, if you knew what was under there and somebody else didn't, what kind of clues would you give for the spirit dog? Hmm. I think I would say he's got big paws. Yeah? I think you would say, Arrgh! and maybe somebody would guess that yes, it's a giant spirit dog from the sky. So that's our game today. Kind of fun, and you can make up your own games too and play along with the story that we have. So now I actually do have a craft. We always do, we always like to do a story and a craft together. So I'm gonna switch my um, camera so you can see what I'm doing on my table. We're gonna make a galaxy out of whipped cream, not whipped cream, shaving cream. And let's see how we're gonna do that. Okay, so on my table here today, I have a big plastic plate to hold the shaving cream. I have some shaving cream and I accidentally bought the wrong kind. So we're gonna see if this actually works or not. I'll talk about that again in a minute. I have a stirring stick. I have some watercolor paints that I'm gonna drip drop on it. I've got some couple of wooden sticks because I'm gonna scrape the whipped cream. I have some paper and I cut my paper into a circle and we'll do that together in a minute. And I've got lots of paint to drip onto the shaving cream. Now I have um, liquid watercolor, but you can use food coloring or you can water down any other kind of paint and it will work, it's really cool. I also have some scissors and a bowl to make a circle pattern and a pencil. I think that's all I've got here. Oh, and if you have a, um, a little dish of paint, you can use a dripper dropper to drip that paint over the shaving cream. And if you don't, you can always just drop it on with a, with a paintbrush. So let's get started. So what I want is I want to make a galaxy. And our Milky Way galaxy was kind of like a spiral or a circle. So I cut my paper into a circle. And this is, I want to do a couple of them. So there's one already cut, but I'm going to show you how to trace a circle. I'm going to get this out of the way for a second. And trace around my bowl upside down with my pencil. And I'm going to cut it out. Cutting out a circle here on my table. So now I'm, I have two circles. One that I cut before and one that I just cut right now. And if you don't want to trace, use a bowl to trace a circle, you can just take a piece of paper and just kind of give it a, a shot, go around and around and around and around, just cut in a circle and you'll probably come out with something that looks pretty round. So there is a smaller circle. So now I have three circles. And so now I'm going to bring my plate back to put some shaving cream in it. And if you have some shaving cream at home, what you probably have is the kind I'm shaking it up. <laughs> you probably have the kind that when you squirt it out of the can, it fluffs up and it's big and white, smells like soap, looks like um, whipped cream. Well, I accidentally got the wrong kind. And mine smells like raspberry and it kind of drools out. <laughs> so we're going to see if this works. Oh. <laughs> look at that. It kind of drools out. It really doesn't look like shaving cream at all. But I'm going to try to fluff it up a little bit to see if I can get it to look more like regular shaving cream. So I have my stirring stick. So I'm fluffing it. Oh, it's getting there. Check it out. The more I stir it, the more fluffier it gets. So if you accidentally bought shaving cream gel like me, you can probably stir it up and make it look a little fluffier. Now this really smells good. I love the way raspberry smells. <laughs> so now I have some big fluffy shaving cream, but maybe yours came out of the can looking like this to begin with. I, on the other hand, have to fluff it up. <laughs> okay, so now the next step, I spread it all over my plate, is putting some color on it. So I have 
some of my watercolor, and I'm gonna just do some dripper droppers on there. So this is part, if you have a little dish of paint or food coloring, you can do it with your pipette. But I, my bottle has a little drop um, lid, so I'm gonna put some color. Ooh, I love orange. Onto my shaving cream. And, ooh, raspberry shaving cream smells so good. How about a little green? No, wait, that's blue. I want some green. So I have some green. I'm going to put some color on there like this. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Whoa, it's looking good. And maybe some, what would look good with that? Um, I like blue. Let's do blue. And I'm just dropping a whole bunch on there. Not a whole lot so it gets watery, but you know, ta-da. Okay, so now the next step is to make a swirl. We're gonna make this look like a, the Milky Way Galaxy and the Milky Way Galaxy is a big spiral. So the spiral goes around in circles till it's a small circle. Does that look like a swirl yet? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try to make it in a circle, a swirl. Am I swirling it? Wow. I don't know. It's getting rounder looking, don't you think? Swirl, swirl. I'm stirring in a circle swirl. I really want to make a Milky Way galaxy pattern. Does that look swirly? Pretty good. So we're going to test it out. So now the next thing, you cut out your pieces of paper in a circle. Now the next thing you do is you put it over the top of the shaving cream and pat it down. Ooh, what's gonna happen now? Awesome, awesome. And then pick up your piece of paper. Oh my goodness, what happened? I'm not sure this turned out to be a swirl. We're gonna find out here in just a second. I'm gonna scrape it off with my scraping stick. Let's see if it turned out to be a swirl. Are there any swirls in this or not? Oh, there might be. Okay. Okay, let's see. Did it turn out to be a swirl? Hmm, I think I invented a new a new galaxy, <laughs> a new shaped galaxy. I don't think it turned out looking like the Milky Way. So I'm gonna do one more for us here. Let's put in some more blue because I want it to be like the night sky, I want it to be a little darker. And some purple. And you can do this over and over again until your shaving cream starts to get too soggy and watery. And then, you have to th then you have to wash it down the sink. But anyway, let's make it look more like the night sky more deep and dark and blue. Ta-da! Woo! <laughs> Let's try that. It's still not looking swirly like I like. Hmm. Let's find out. Let's do one more. Deep and dark and blue night sky. Press it down. And pick it up. <laughs> I think this looks more like the moon or something. We'll find out here. Scraping. Oh, hey, this didn't turn out too bad. All right. I see more swirly patterns in this one. Maybe. Okay. Ooh, I'm getting nice and messy. What do you think? So we have two galaxies. Two new galaxies to make up stories about. <laughs> maybe this one is maybe this one is the chicken galaxy and maybe this one is the spirit mouse galaxy <laughs> we'll see all right so there we have our galaxy paintings and i'm gonna wipe off my hands with my paper towel I'll always do that <laughs> and i'm gonna show you one other thing that you might want to do before we end our today's thing now i have I'm gonna move my whipped cream over and bring in my big pan of, what is that? It's cornmeal, cornmeal right there. I put some cornmeal in the pan and you can also play 
in cornmeal. And I have my stirring stick right here. And I'm going to draw letters. I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but I'm going to practice drawing letters maybe with my finger and my hand. Just kind of play in that cornmeal because it really feels great. It's kind of grainy. Hmm. Yeah, there's the letter of my name. Probably it looks like upside down to you, but there's A for Miss Ann. <laughs> and you can draw anything you want in there. And remember how there was dog footprints in the cornmeal? Let's see if we can make a handprint in the cornmeal. Cool. So that's another thing that you might want to do today is just kind of get a pan of cornmeal, maybe run some toys through it. Oh, BB-8 wants to play in the cornmeal today. <laughs> and kind of just get the feel of what cornmeal is all about. Or you can even make some corn muffins with your mom or somebody. Okay, so back to my screen to say goodbye. That's all of our projects for today and a fun story and we hope you had a great time and um, hope you get a chance to go out and look at the night sky see if you can see the milky way bye now join us again next time Was it ah, a giant Tyrannosaurus Rex? Okay, so how are we gonna paint the pine cones? Maybe three pine cones, what do you think? Yeah, three pine cones. And um, then the fun starts. What's happening here? Well, when we pull back on our little shooter here, that creates potential energy, and then when I let it fly, it turns that potential energy into kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. And boom! <laughs>